Did you know that just a few milliseconds of delay in networking systems can cause dropped 5G calls, misaligned robots, financial losses in trading, and even power grid failures? Precision timing isn't just important, it's critical. Hi, welcome to the lab. My name is Arpita, and today I'll demonstrate how Microchip's USB to Ethernet controller uses Precision Time Protocol, also known as PTP, to enable nanosecond level accuracy. So in any time critical system, you'll generally find a grandmaster clock, which is connected to multiple ordinary clocks. Let's consider an automated assembly line system, wherein you'll find a PLC, which is connected to an industrial switch, which is further connected to multiple end devices like robots, sensors, or actuators. These end devices will play the role of an ordinary clock. Now the goal is for these end devices is to operate in perfect sync, which ensures safety and efficiency of the product. This is achieved by the implementation of a grandmaster clock in the PLCs on industrial computers. This clock is highly accurate and ensures that all the ordinary clocks share a common clock to enable the synchronization. In today's demonstration, we'll be using some of the microchips evaluation board that have the capability to run PTP on them. So let's start with the grandmaster clock. Here we have a LAN 9662 TSN switch, which will play the role of a grandmaster clock because it has a dedicated hardware clock which helps in capturing precise timestamps. This board has multiple ethernet ports with an extended functionality carrier board. It has a PTP out SMA connector, which is used to generate a one pulse per second signal, commonly known as one PPS on the oscilloscope. On the other hand, we have the LAN 7801 USB to ethernet controller, which is connected to the LAN 88415. And this whole setup runs on a PTP software stack, which is implemented in its drivers. This helps, the stack helps capture precise timestamps. The 8841 daughter card has a dedicated PTP GPIO pin, which is accessible through this connector and helps in generating the one PPS signal. So in this whole finalized setup, we are going to run on the Linux kernel, wherein we'll be using a PTP 4L utility, which is a Linux based daemon. This utility allows us to run a configuration file like the one here. And this configuration file allows you to configure multiple port, clock, and program options, which helps you to optimize the PTP behavior. Now we'll start running the grandmaster clock on the LAN 9662 switch. So here we have already logged in to the custom kernel provided by Microchip for the switch. We will now bring up the Ethernet interface that is connected to the LAN 7801. Moving forward, I'll be running a test, a test PTP binary application, which, is, which helps in running the 1PPS functionality on one of its GPIO ports. We will then run the command to set the pulse cycle and the width of the waveform which will give us the waveform on the oscilloscope as shown here. And finally, we will run the PTP4L utility, which runs the configuration file for the switch. Now the LAN 9662 has assumed the role of a grandmaster. Moving on to the ordinary clock on LAN 7801. Here, I've already confirmed the network interface as well as the PHC or the PTP hardware clock in use. We will now run the test PTP to initiate the 1PPS signal on GPIO pin 2. And also set the pulse cycle and width of the waveform. We will finally run the PTP4L utility with the dedicated configuration file. 
here we can see in the output of the PTP4L that there are multiple parameters like RMS, max, frequency, and delay. Here, the max offset is basically the time offset of the ordinary clock from the master clock or the grandmaster clock in terms of nanosecond level. Here we can see that the, the max time off offset will gradually start synchronizing with the grandmaster clock. So we will observe the same output on the oscilloscope using the one pulse per second signals. As you can see on the oscilloscope, there are multiple waveforms coming out from the LAN 7801 and the LAN 9662. The offset between these waveforms is shown using the cursors. And you can measure the maximum offset using the delta shown here for the measurement, which is around 5 nanoseconds. Here, for demonstration purpose, we have used an oscilloscope. But for higher accuracy measurements, you can also use a frequency counter. To summarize, LAN 7801 USB to Ethernet controllers implementation of PTP brings deterministic timing to industrial Ethernet. This eliminates the reliance on external triggers and ensures that every event is timestamped and synchronized. If you're interested in building this setup, please refer to all the product and software library links provided in the description box below. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time in the lab.